Hey guys, KJ Resell here, back at you with another wet sold video. This is for week 7 of 2022. Starting out with a couple sales. This piglet sold for $10. Uh, probably paid 25 cents for it. This is Drew, the Squishmallow Dragon. It's a Valentine's Squishmallow. I think I paid like 50 cents for this at Walmart probably a couple years ago. Finally got around to listing it. This Mardi Gras. Raising Cane's plush sold for $23, paid 50 cents. Actually, no, this came in a plush bag that hopefully I'll get a video out of soon, but I already sold one item from that plush bag. Biggest sale to start out the week this Bart Squishmallow. This is Bart the Bat. He's like a 12 inch bat. Got him for probably a dollar or two at Walgreens whenever, before Squishmallows became super popular, which is when I got him. Walgreens would clearance uh, Halloween stuff down to 90% off, and this was one of the ones I got. So, Bart the Squishmallow sold for $83 on Mercari. And that's it for what solds to start the week. Here are the what solds for Tuesday slash Wednesday. Starting out with an Amazon sale. Squishmallow, Nightingale. Sold for $135 plus shipping. So really good sale there to start it out. I actually sold two of those. This Furby with the little mask. Sold this Furby Boom Connect, I think is the name of it. Sold for $58, I think. This little puppy surprise pink and white dog sold for $18 or $19. Those two were eBay. This is Mercari. It's Pluto. It's a hand puppet. It's a little puppet of Pluto. Somebody wanted it for Valentine's Day. And last but not least, I'm going to share another Amazon sale. Not as great. This is Gordon the Shark. This is the 11-inch version. I think he came from Walmart. Or Walgreens, I'm not sure exactly, but he sold for like $35 or $36. So, decent amount of sales. Here are the what solds for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Haven't had many sales over the last couple days. So, starting out with the one that just happened. This little guy, Otto. He is a Clip Squishmallow. Sold for $39.99. I paid 4 bucks for him at Walgreens. It's a really good flip there. I got him around Halloween time. I've just been holding him, knowing that it would sell for that price. I kept getting lowball offers of 30 and I kept declining them. Eventually, I just said, I'm not even going to accept offers anymore, and it sold. $39.99. Another one of the fires sold for 10 play fires. I remember I got like five of these for a dollar each. This one sold for 20 on Mercari. It'll ship first class, so good profit there. This lot of dog beanie boos seven total i'm gonna show like four or five of them but this lot of four of seven sold for 24 dollars in mercari shipping was around ten dollars so pure profit of probably ten dollars or so i think that was in the big beanie boo lot that i got that i've showed y'all this little guy funko pop so it's a bunch of variety today this moon knight funko pop sold for 75 dollars i believe i put it at auction at 75 and someone bid and someone won this one's gone up a lot recently. I'm I'm guessing there's a new a new show or he's in some new show that's coming out, Moon Knight, the character Moon Knight is, so that's my guess. I don't know for sure though, but I haven't done any research on it either, obviously. This little thing sold for twelve dollars. Sold this in the past and had to cancel it because I couldn't find it. Found it and it sold. So it's very special. Maybe it's for Valentine's Day, but it won't get there before Valentine's Day because Today, as I'm filming, is February 11th, so yeah, not going to get there in time for Valentine's Day. This, I paid three, two or three bucks for this from a friend, sold for $12, I think, $13. It's Brian's Ford Escort. You see some of these, you can pick them up. They'll ship first class, but, and some are worth money. This one's not really worth that much, obviously. A couple bucks on that one. I recently made a trade with a friend uh, whenever I was in Florida, traded her uh, little girl likes like foxes and dogs so i've traded aphrodite the two by beanie boo for this little guy kent he is a squishmallow from target cost ten dollars originally obviously i did a trade so i didn't pay that much but i traded aphrodite for him he sold for 45 dollars plus shipping so around 50 dollars for him i also sold this set of three lego harry potters for 18 or 19 dollars somewhere in that range i paid like 75 cents for each one of those. Sold this little dog for $28. So this is a beanie baby. Not a beanie boo. Beanie baby. Some of them are still worth money. 28 bucks in Mercari. Its name is Hearts. It's a dog. Won't get there before. I doubt it'll get there before Valentine's Day, but hopefully they're uh, not expecting it to get there before Valentine's Day. This little guy came from Five Below. 
Five Below is recently putting out some Squishmallows that are like the OG squad. I don't know if you're able to see it or not, but it's got like Connor the Cow, Avery the Duck, Wendy the Frog, Cameron, I think the cat, a little giraffe, Sunny the Bumblebee, a bunch of those. This one was one he sold for like, or she, Wendy, it's probably a she, 35 or 40 bucks is what she sold for. Uh, Connor's worth more, even more than that, but this one's one of the good ones if you see it at five below. You'll have to get their first thing when it opens because they're going to be sold out super fast because they don't enforce their limits that they claim. This Rawlings glove sold for 26 bucks on Facebook, believe it or not. Facebook. So profit of, I think, $24 after fees and shipping. Because shipping on Facebook, I do it through Facebook. So cost costs like $8.94, I think, to ship that through UPS. The last item, the best item, if y'all remember a year or two ago now, I got some Simpich Elfs. The name is Simpich. If you can see that, if you see that on an elf, pick it up. I sold, I probably got eight or nine of those elves. Each one sold for around 70 and some even sold for over a hundred. This one is one of those. This one's one I've had been holding on to for a while. You can see right there, his nose is broken. Uh, the, someone sent me an offer. I had him listed for like $199.99 because his nose was broken. If his nose wasn't broken, he'd be worth probably t over $200. I was just waiting to see if I'd get any offers for him. He's from 1987, as you as you saw on the little stamp on the bottom. But someone sent me an offer of $150. I countered with $150 and put a message in saying, hey, just to let you know, I want to make sure you're aware the nose is broken off. They accepted that offer. So I did all I could to inform the buyer that this item was broken. Hopefully, hopefully they actually read the message I wrote, which I don't know why you wouldn't, but... We'll see, but $150 for like a $3 investment. Man, I wish I could I wish I wish could find more of these little guys, but that's it for what sold's headed into the weekend. Here are my weekend sales. I got them all stored in this huge monstrosity right here. <laughs> more on that in a second. First up, this Epson ink. This was shown in a previous sourcing video. I think the last for Thrift with me I did actually. It sold for $21.75 or something like that. Someone sent me an offer. This Fast and the Furious paid like two or three for this from a friend, sold for 16. Roo Kangaroo from Winnie the Pooh, it's a little kangaroo, sold for 16 or 17 dollars. I think I paid 25 cents for this at a thrift store. Two little plushies, Kane's Frosty the Snowman plushes, sold for 15. Had them listed for like 19, so it's made off for 15. I accepted, they've been listed for a while. Bam Bam. From Flintstones, sold on Facebook for $9 plus shipping. So profit of probably 6 or $7 there. Sherry, the unicorn, sold for, I think, 11 or 12 bucks. Won't we'll get there by Valentine's Day, obviously, because tomorrow, as you're watching this, is Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to everybody. This butter, the cow, sold for $17. Paid $6 for this. Barnacle Boy, Patrick <laughs> Star. If y'all ever watched... SpongeBob, Barnacle Boy, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Uh, we're like Batman and Robin, I guess, kind of. But this is Patrick the Star as Barnacle Boy. Sold for $16. And then this little rarity sold for 9 bucks, I think. Something like that. Not much, but a little bit of profit. Two of these, H2O Go. This is going to Illinois or Indiana. I'm not sure why somebody from there is buying that at this time of the year. But hey, maybe they have an indoor pool or uh, they're just getting ready for summer. Or they're taking a beach trip or something. These two, I don't have the other one sit right there. Those two sold for $27. It's a big sale. And this La Crusade. Is that how you say it, Kayla? La Crusade. Kayla turned me on to this brand at one point. She's sold this brand really well. This is a 20 quart. It actually says it on the bottom. 20 quart stock pot. Marmite. Blue. So this thing sold for $160. At one point, this thing was all... Uh, this came out of the storage unit, actually. This thing was had the red spray paint all over it, all over the top of it, and down the side. I used a magic eraser, and it got pretty much all of it off. There's still some, some, some residual red in there, but I'll do a good job of cleaning that up before I ship this out. But, yeah, that's the big sale for the weekend. Also have some Amazon sales. This little guy, even without his tag, sold for $33 plus shipping on Amazon. And then I sold, like... Three or four of these guys. This is Ryan, the Squishmallow. He came from Walmart, I think. I paid like 11 for him. He sold for around 34 plus shipping. Let's see. I sold a... 
This is another one I got from the whenever I went to Florida that I did a trade with. This is Henry the Turtle. He was a summer exclusive at Walgreens last year, I believe, and uh, sold him for $49 plus 4 or $5 shipping. So $54 right there for one little 8-inch turtle. Luckily, I don't know if I've told you all this yet or not, but I can sell Squishmallows again on Amazon. I don't know why. All of a sudden, I just could. So I'm taking full advantage of that. I think I am at I have 16 Amazon orders to ship out, six eBay, and then like four Macari, one Facebook. So as the Super Bowl is going on right now, I'm filming this at halftime because I don't really care about the halftime show. So hopefully, I'll be able to get all these shipped out and uh, in the mail tomorrow. And don't forget to leave a like, comment with your favorite sale. Mine's got to be the La Crusade pot. And uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks for watching.